Ahoy, salty dogs! My name is Lenscap. Welcome back to Project Titan. In uh, the previous episode, let's remove this build block benefits. Uh, we worked on this bio room, med bay. Same thing in our case. Yeah, I got these cool doors. Okay, so uh, I thought this was a pretty fun project, and uh, we're gonna continue work on our ship. It's actually uh, we. We don't have much left, really. We uh, we need to do airlocks. I gotta be careful. I'm gonna fall out of gravity on this thing. We need to do... So we need airlocks, and then I think... Other than that, the only other room that we have to do is, like, a captain's quarters. And, uh, which is what we're gonna work on today. But before we jump into uh, the captain's quarters... I want to do some work on the outside of the ship. I feel like um, it's... I'm not really happy with with what it looks like at the moment. I want to add some more detailing to it. And uh, maybe change some of the lines a little bit. Um, I had an idea for these kind of side pod things. I, I think I'm going to change those up as well. They're just... I need more space for systems. And... Um, and the only really way that I can think of to do that is to uh, change how these side pods are going to work. So, okay, let's get some blocks placed and see what happens with that. Okay, so a few things, um, a few updates, just some minor, well, actually, I guess not super minor, but I added these, like, rectangular wingy bits instead of the, like, pods that were there before. Um kind of had this idea that maybe they would stick out a little bit differently and be a, a different shape. That way we could have some more room for things. Um, I was also thinking about making some places where we could like, where we could put our turrets, some actual spots for turrets. Um, and, and I think on these kind of shelfy, wingy things um, would make sense. I, uh, I like this. So I did a cutout. I figure we'll sink them in a little bit and then we kind of have like these broadside turrets going on. The only thing that I don't really necessarily like about this so far is... And it's not really something that I can fix either, I think. It's just the way that slabs themselves work. Because the whole rest of the build is so flat and clean lines and the armor is so, like, like straight and clean, and then... The wedges or the slabs have all these like sharp edges to them. Like it's it's a gradual curve, which I want, but I don't know how I feel about the sharp edges. I'm gonna have to mess with it some more and and kind of see what we do. But I think it's a start. I also removed some uh, some more of the like armor plating down beneath here. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that yet, but I think I think there was I think I want less like armored places um, on the ship, or fewer armored places, and more like, I don't know what we're going to do, maybe a different kind of armor, or like, just hull that's not necessarily covered in armor or something, I don't know. Uh, changed the shape of the front of this too, just to make it a little bit more drastic. I'm not sure about that either, but it's something. Alright, another update on these pod things. I don't know what they're what they're going to be called anymore. They quit being wings, though, and they started being like little rooms, kind of. Um, I'm starting to add a little bit of detail to them. There's like these braces that kind of hold them in place and give them a little bit of structure. Um, I also filled out the kind of area where I think the turret should go. I still have the same kind of complaint, though, about the um, slabs. I, I'm not sure I like that. I don't know that there's any way possible around it, though. Uh, you can't really smooth it out any better than that. So, I'm not sure. These are much bigger than the pods were, though, so they give us a lot more room for systems inside. And uh, since they're mostly square, you know, they, they really change. Uh, they really add a lot of space. We're going to have to have doorways in here at some point. Yeah, coming out of this. But we got lots of room for airlock. 
uh, airlock like mechanisms and stuff if we want to do a fancy airlock. I'm not quite sure what I want to do there yet, but I think we're we're onto something with this. Okay, so I uh, took a little bit of a break from working on these things. They were just, it wasn't, I don't know, I'm still not quite 100% happy on these. Just the slabs are, are really throwing me off. Maybe it needed some more detail is what I was thinking. So I uh, kind of took some cues from the parts that I had detailed and added more details. So I put these like, these rib kind of things along the, along the armor plates. Um, I think that worked out. I extended this back one a little bit more for our project. Excuse me, for our project today. Um, like I said, we're going to add the captain's quarters in. So we're going to put that right here. I also went ahead and did this. I made this change to the um, airlock, to the like the water airlocks that we've got going on. I used... Um, let's see, what block is this? <laughs> it's... Let me find... The push pulse modules. I felt like they looked more like a, um, like a threshold or something. Maybe they're emanating force field or something. Who knows? And I got blue lights because they look more like industrial, more mechanical than the ice crystal that I was using before. I did that for all of the water airlocks that we use, um, which, by the way, I, th I really like those. And uh, I added another one to the other side of this hall um, for our captain's quarters. And added some armor around the captain's quarters. I've got two windows. Well, they're pseudo windows. They're not real windows yet. But um, I've got space for two windows on either side. So we'll probably span the entire back of the ship with our captain's quarters here. Um, decoration. So I took some cues from the rest of the ship. These kind of things. This interesting shape. Uh, the orange stripes. The uh, advanced brown and the gray uh, advanced and kind of scattered them throughout the ship a little bit further um, up here. So I have this like central support kind of thing that's orange that goes all the way down the middle. Um, it, I'm trying to keep it consistent through the whole ship and I think it's working actually. It, it really added a lot of detail. All I, all I really did was swap out a couple of blocks and add um, a few extra things in. So you've got like this, like this ribbing kind of effect going on, which I think is pretty good. It makes it feel a little, I don't know, like, like kind of ominous or kind of like, like cobbled together. I, it adds a certain like, like scary pirate element. I feel like maybe I'm just. Because I did it, I like it too much, but, <laughs> um, but I really like the kind of feel that it adds. And then we, we have all of our colors mixed in. We've got a couple different textures and places. Um, I tend to just do stripes. It's with these like different uh, hull qualities, um, but it works. It it seems like it works just fine. Um, I also threw in a stripe of orange right here. You can just barely see it, but I did that so it kind of breaks up the brown. Uh, there's a little bit of separation between like this part and then the actual body of the ship. Um, I didn't really do any detailing to these rectangular bits. I'm not sure I like them yet. I'm not sure that's the route I want to go with these things yet, but that's that's where we stand right now. Um, I'm also not sure what to do here, but I was thinking that for this underneath part, I think we can, we should recess it a little bit, like just a little like, it's like a little kind of recess, like this shape, maybe. And uh, we'll put one of these guys, our forklift, uh, inside there to go along with having a cargo pod. Um, I think that'll be useful. Um, but anyway, let's get started on the captain's quarters. So for our captain's quarters, I think we need to have maybe like two different kind of areas of it. Um, we should have a, like a lounge kind of area where he can meet with crew members or executives, I guess, or, you know, whoever, uh, he needs to meet with. So like a ready room kind of thing. And then of course the captain's actual quarters where he sleeps and eats and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we'll need some blocks that kind of give us a ready room 
feel. Maybe um maybe we can steal a cue from the Bedlam class ship and use this like hologram display table I have. I really like this idea and I want to use it again. So maybe we'll use this in the captain's quarters here. Um I I think that would be useful and we'll have like a meeting table or or something. Um what is the captain's quarters? And this is pretty simple. It's just like a, yeah, pretty simple in this ship. So, um, we'll do something kind of similar to that, I guess, for like the bed, um, area. And, um, all right, cool. So let's lay down some blocks here. I'm thinking, uh, we'll continue the theme with the windows. We know we want windows here, so we can go ahead and put those in. Okay. So that'll work. And then we can go ahead and put them in on this side as well. And uh, for like our, our floor color, let's just throw down some blocks for the floor. Um, when we first enter the captain's quarters, I feel like there should be like a... Let's see, I don't know how long I want this room to be yet. But I feel like there should be like some sort of division you know, so that you can't immediately, like, if, if just some random Joe uh, from the crew or whatever comes to see the captain and he's, like, got the admiral or something in his, in his quarters because they're talking strategy or something, there needs to be some kind of, like, divider here. Um, it doesn't even have to be the full wall. It can be maybe slabs as well, but we'll get to that. Okay, then we want maybe like two blocks for floor. Uh, like for like an opening. And then this can be, uh, the ceiling height. So I think that'll work. We might move some of this stuff around, but I think that'll work. Um, okay. And then we want to have a bit of like a ready room kind of situation. So let's give some space for that. So dedicate some space to that kind of thing. Um, this can go even uh, even back a little bit further into the ship if it needs to. So probably probably if this is the back wall, that's about as far as it can get, just because of where the other systems are. Okay, so that'll work. Um, for this room, it doesn't have to be huge, right? We just need a couple of extra, um, of extra space. Um, a couple of extra space? I don't think that's what you meant, Gap. So if we do like, like this, here's how I did that, um, that hologram wall. I'm gonna do it slightly different, I think, um, this time. We're just gonna do, last time I did with the crystal armor as well as with uh, with force fields, but I think I'm just going to do the crystal armor this time. And that puts it up, like, all the way floor to ceiling, which I think is fine. Come on, block. Place where I want you to be. Yeah, so I, I think that's okay, and that's what we'll do for there. We'll have to put some lights in above it. And then, ah, oh, this is going to be pretty tight. There's not a lot of room here for, for captain -y stuff. So we may have to do another, like, slab wall here. And then, let's see. This is going to have to be a piece of wall. And the floor underneath, like this. So where does the captain's bed area go? I, I think we need to work out this room and what goes in here first, but... This is about the amount of space I think we can allot for this project. Cool, so now that we've got that worked out, um, let's figure some detail bits in. So we wanted to have... I mean, does the captain really need a separate, like, bedroom? And, uh, you know what? We've got a little bit of space up here. We might be able to give him, like, a loft kind of area. That could be cool, actually. Okay, so let's plan on doing that. Um, I think that'll be the easiest way to kind of, uh, give the captain a separate area for his, like, like, bed, uh, and stuff. Um, I probably want to move this over so I can move this over. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of logistics. I think the bed area being up here is not unreasonable. 
I think that would work pretty well. So, okay, let's... I'm going to clean this up a little bit. We kind of did some verbalizing of sketch work or something like that. And uh, and now let's actually do, like, the the next step. But I'm going to do that off camera. Light, 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 light. Okay, I think that's going to work at least for now. Hmm, this window is a little bit strange. But I don't really want to give more space on the outside of the ship to it, so I think we're just going to have to deal with it for now. Um, I don't have the bed part done or the ceiling on this side, but let's do a quick walk um, of the area. And some gravity. We can take a look at the uh, at the room so far. I need to fix that. Those uh, those great blocks take up an entire block, and they're only supposed to take up a little bit. Um, I have talked to one of the devs. They actually do intend to fix that soon. So, Okay, uh, I like this little entryway. The floor needs a little bit of detailing. This little bit needs some detailing, but I think this is pretty good. So we walk in here. Yeah, this is not bad. Um, the table is very strangely centered under this ceiling bit, so maybe we'll adjust that too. Yeah, we definitely should. Um, it's kind of like a floating table. I've got these, like, they're transporters, but they kind of are supposed to look like they give some kind of, um, levitating effect, maybe, to the table. I might add these into the, the dining area as well, where we also have a floating table. Chairs. I don't think we need chairs in here. Um, the ceiling is okay. Ceiling is okay. Maybe we do a pipe in the corner. So I'm just kind of zigzagging thing. That'll give us uh, something to do, uh, something to look at. And then over here, we'll go up to wherever the loft is going to be. Probably, probably just this space, actually. But it may go this way. I haven't decided yet. But uh, a couple more tweaks in here, and then I think we've got it. Okay, a uh, couple more refinements later. I still don't have a room in the uh, roof ceiling in this part so i'm not quite sure what to do there um this if i could find myself this corner needs some love too still but uh but anyway i've come up with this once they fix this so that these are only a slab you'll be able to just easily walk over this for now you kind of have to jump but uh they'll fix that so i'm not too concerned there i wanted some texture in the floor and and i think that does it pretty well i changed this into more of like a lounge kind of area so it's a little bit less formal. But then I realized there's one one feature that the captain absolutely needs in his office, and that is um, clearly our soda machine needs to go in here. Let's put it... I wish I could put it against the wall. Hmm. I maybe can, actually, if I do it like this. Uh, yeah, that works, that works. So let's fix the back of this now, though. Um, so let's see, these blocks need to change. They need to be just black hull. I'm just using, actually, we'll make them black standard armor, just so they kind of hide a little bit better. Don't you guys think, though, like, the captain totally needs a soda machine, right? That's, like, one of the cool things in this ship, so the captain needs his own private one. Uh, maybe his dispense is rum or something. I like that, though. I really like that. Okay, so that's pretty good. Kind of a loungy kind of area. Maybe it's uh, Captain Picard on the ship and he gets Earl Grey out of it. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. There's like a monitoring station in this corner. I wasn't quite sure what to do here, but I think that's fine. Um... All right, I got to figure out this corner and the ceiling in here. Let's see if we can't put together a ceiling real quick. We could just continue this ceiling. That might be the best way to go, actually. So let's see. How is this oriented? It looks like we've got it like this. So let's just take this one all the way to the end then. Okay, and then we've got pipes. And they... What do they do? How do they end this way? Oh, they just go straight through? Okay, I can I can mimic that. 
like this and this. So we'll have to do some things along the sides, but I think that'll be an easy fix. Okay, we'll put our mass enhancers to cap off the pipes. Um, here I've got thrusters, so let's do thrusters. We're basically just copying this hallway over um, to this side, just so that it's consistent throughout the ship. Alright, and then we have shield caps. So let's grab out our shield caps. And they run along the top. Beautiful. So this part is pretty much done. I'm uh, I'm happy with this. Oh, we need a light in here, though. Um, can we put a light over here some way? What if we do... Let's see. We can do... Okay, let's try this. Let's see if we can't work out some pipes and lights. Um, pipes and lights. All at the same time. So if we do that, and let's see, we can actually just have it connect with this pipe. With this pipe, if we use one of these, like, three-way things. Just like that. And let's see, we'll have it come out the, right here, and then down. And then it'll go straight down to here. Kind of limiting our walking space, but we're doing that on purpose um, so that there's a little bit of interest in this corner. And I, I didn't work in a light, but I don't think we're going to be able to work in a light with that fixture. So let's try. I mean, I've been using these white light bars. We can just throw one basically in the corner right here. That seems like it gives us plenty of light. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so what do we do for this loft area? I'm not quite sure what to do here yet. I'm going to do some fiddling around and see if I can't come up with something interesting. I got rid of the ceiling and decided to make this like an actual like loft kind of thing. Um, I'm going to have to mess with lighting in a minute. Uh, if you look right now, obviously I have a light mode on, but if I turn it off, it's super dark. So we're going to have to play with lighting here in a little bit. But I thought it would be kind of cool to have this, like, loft area here where the captain's bed is. Um, and I think that's a pretty cool idea. And then that gives me some things I can do kind of in the ceiling here. There is not any extra room, though, up here. So this is what we get. <laughs> this is what we get. Even these bits right here. Yeah, there's that's the outside of the ship if we remove those. So we don't have any extra room whatsoever to play with that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, lighting is going to be interesting because of that. Um, but for bed, we can do a pretty easy bed for the captain. Um, since this is a two-by-two two space, really, all we want to do is put the bed up here. So let's do exactly that. And we'll just do... like a bed. Perfect. Piece of cake. So that takes care of that. Let's put down some lights now. Um, let's see. If we use light corners, I bet we could do something pretty interesting with this, uh, with this bed area. If we do corners like this, maybe? Yeah, I don't like this as much as I thought I was going to. Okay, so maybe we don't do that, but it does give us some light. So if we turn off light, then we can actually see. But I don't think I like that as much as I as I thought I would. Um, instead, I know it's real dark, but give me just a second. Instead, I think we'll do... Oh, let's do this. In the bathroom, we're using these lights as like little shelves. I think we can make that work here as well. Especially if we do something like... Like if we push this orange bit back half a block then there's this like shelf uh behind the bed that uh that i would find that useful in my own bed you know somewhere right above your head that you can keep like your alarm clock or a book that you're reading or um, something to that effect this needs to be regular gray so that's pretty good. Okay, now how do we squeeze lights into this room? That's the real trouble now. Um, I did, by the way, 
change this out to more of like a loungy area. I think I included that clip. Yeah, because you guys, because the drink machine. Yeah, yeah, I showed that. Um, we could do the same thing as we did actually in the crew lounge with the lights on the couch. Um, that was a pretty good trick, I thought. So let's let's take advantage of it. Um, is it gonna be enough light? Is my only question. Like because they're all kind of facing away. It's close. We still need the light over here, but we could just do something like this. And they get to our room mostly lit up. Um, the ceiling is kind of bland though, so let's see if we can't find something interesting. I'm thinking we use some scaffolding and some pipes. You know how I feel about the pipes. Um, and we can kind of make this a little bit more interesting. Where can we put some scaffolding? If we do, okay, if we do in this corner instead of these blocks, we can do something with the pipes, maybe? Uh, but we can't get a vertical pipe right here. This pipe doesn't rotate um, in that fashion. So maybe we leave these things. I like those uh, being there anyway. And if we delete that, how dark is it? Too dark. Okay, so I don't want to do that. But I do want to put some scaffolding in. So I guess we could just do it like this. And maybe we do something along these lines. Because this could look interesting from the loft area too. We gotta think about that. It's gotta look interesting from there also. Um, and then if we just do like. Come on, Wedge. Like this. And like this. How's that? Kinda gives it a little bit of a shape. And we've got these scaffolding bits here, so we're already using that in our room. Um, so that works. Can we put some lights up here now? Uh, does that take away from the room? It does not. I don't think it does. Um, so we need to add a little bit more like noise, I think, in the ceiling. Something else going on, some pipes or something. I'm going to take about a little bit here, kind of dress up the ceiling, I think. Try a couple of blocks, see what I like. And uh, we'll probably call the episode after that. Great Scott, I think I'm on to something. Great, what a great... Who says that? Okay, anyway. I'm like, uh, back to the future, channeling my, my inner uh, doctor. Okay, so I got some pipes and stuff snaking all over the place. When in doubt, snake pipes around. I think that's my, that's my motto, so... Um, but that... That looks pretty good, and uh, it doesn't look... I mean, I'm, I'm definitely looking at this harder than probably anybody else ever will. So, I like that from here. You know, you can kind of tell there's something going on. I mean, who really looks at ceilings, though? But um, over here, the ceiling has to be kind of plain because it's, you know, there's no room above your head. That's all. That's all the room there is. So, uh, I mean, maybe we could stretch some here let's try something real quick do we have a build block handy we do because we're in creative mode let's just let's just try this together real quick I, i'm running out of time for this video but i really want to do this uh let's try some thrusters and see if we can get some thrusters maybe looking good in here If we do them like this all the way back. You know, just for a little, like, taste of a texture. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe we should do the whole ceiling <laughs> like that. And can we get... We sure can. All right. Okay, I like that, I like that. Let's hop out of our build block so we can take a look in astronaut mode as we come around this corner. Okay, so we come around the corner, and... Yeah, that looks great. That did it. That's exactly what we needed. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in uh, to this episode. Always 
Why is that happening? Oh, because my mouse is weird. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. As always, if you like the video, um, leave a like, but it's completely optional. And feedback, comments, any comments, any thoughts, any quotations you want to share. Um, what are you working on in Star Made? Let me know, either in the comment section below or uh, in the description below is a link to my Discord channel. You can join up and uh, keep in touch there. Um, but as always, guys, until next time, stay tuned.